To prepare for the upcoming release of Group Iron Man, Guides for Us All and I have been making some collaborative content. Hey there. Instead of focusing on the collection log, we're going to try and make a bunch of money from scratch. If you guys end up enjoying this, maybe we make a mini series where we make like a billion gold or something from scratch as fast as we can. The only real rule for this challenge is that we can't use instances and we can't do raids. So no chambers, no theater, no corrupted gauntlet, Zolra, or Vork. Everything else is pretty much fair game. And we want to start with something a little unorthodox here, and I'm going to be scouting around for Crystal Implings, because if I just find one or two, that should be a good amount of starting GP. It's been like five minutes, and I haven't even found a single Crystal Imp yet, so I'm just going to start pickpocketing this elf, because it can give some pretty good stuff. Alright, first Crystal Imp, and we get Rune Arrows. Oh, I just snagged it from Shane. Dude, I'm sorry, but uh, you kind of got owned, bro. Yeah, but you know there's the few people who will appreciate it. I guess that's what matters in the end. Oh my god. You did not get the seed. I did. <laughs> I actually got the enhanced crystal teleport seed. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that's There's no way. All right, so going back to the grand exchange now because obviously that's a pretty great start, 2.9 mil. I genuinely can say I did not expect that to happen at all. But I think what we want to do now is get some budget setups and head over to do some revs. I know revs are just a fraction of how good they used to be, but regardless, there's still pretty decent money, especially when you're rebuilding. With the money that I made, I bought myself a starter rev setup and also bought one for guides for us all as well. Probably not going to show every single time we trade back and forth because it's going to happen quite a lot. I'm also going to just be occasionally turning coins into platinum tokens so I don't have to go out of my way to rebuy things that I already have in my bank, like Pharaoh's gloves, for example. All right, that is the end of my first trip as my divine potion is running out. A little over 300k in 20 minutes based on the potion time. It's not great, but I'm also not killing necessarily the best NPCs. So I think that it's probably a worthwhile method, at least for a little bit here. So after that first trip of revs, I got over 600,000 cold from drops. And I think I'm going to do something spicy. I'm going to buy an amulet of avarice with my money. And uh, in case you don't know, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. This is a weird item. When you put it on, you get sculled for 20 minutes, and that's perfect for revs because that increases the chance that I hit the rare drop table. So uh, it's a little bit risky, obviously, Skull. I'm going to lose a lot more gold worth of items, but I could also make a lot more gold worth of items. Dragon Plate Skirt, 160k. I think that might have its drop rate enchanced by being Skulled. I cannot remember. Enhanced, not enchanced. But uh, yeah, 160k, can't complain. And dragon plate legs. We got another drop. Plus, look at that dragon longsword on the ground. That's like 200k and two rev kills. All right, second trip. Check this looting bag. 922k in just 20 minutes at revs. You can't complain about this, folks. I mean, the early agility is really oh, bad. Oh, hey. XP. I was you know, making fun of the fact that I hadn't gotten anything yet. Now I got a pair of dragon plate legs. Let's go. All right. Another 600k. Much, much better than the first trip. I think I'm gonna do one more and we're gonna see how much money we have because we're not sure what methods are actually really, really good right now, especially without the ability to use instances. Gives us a bit more hurdles. All right, out of potion yet again. This was not a very good trip, only 381K, but I'm pretty sure that Shelby got attacked. I, I know he lived, but I'm not sure where we're at with gold, so we're gonna go figure out how much total we have and maybe switch activities here. Right now, this is all the money that I have. 2.4 mil. If I sell off my gear, I might have just enough to buy what I'm trying to buy. So let's do that. My next plan for us here involves mining. So I'm going to be buying a dragon pickaxe. And then I'm going to also put away a little bit of money to simulate buying an HP cape because I really just don't want another HP cape in my bank. And I'm just going to wear my max cape because it has the same effect. So that's what I'm doing that for. We're gonna actually be heading to Zolcano. Okay, we're about to go do some Zolcano, and I am like just short of getting myself a dragon pickaxe as well. So I just bought a rune pickaxe, reclaimed my Varrock armor, and I guess I'm just going to do this in this until I have enough to get a dragon pick, because that's gonna be a lot better. Alright, so unfortunately we did not have enough for two dragon pickaxes. We will we'll fix that after a couple of kills here. We're gonna be trying some duo Zolcano, and I have no idea if it's good or bad. Uh, but it should be. It should be good money. I, I mean, if we're splitting our money anyway, it should be good money. 318,000 gold in one kill. Yeah, I'm getting the dragon pick. I'll be right back. 
Oh, thank God it bought. I like literally barely had enough for it. We made it by like 20k. All right, I'll hail the Onyx Bolt drop from Zelcano. I really hope we can get some more of those. And now we're decked out with a dragon pickaxe. We're looking so beautiful. All right, let's see. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, yeah, we also get the, the shards every kill here. That's going to be big money. Yeah, yeah. one of us is getting three, one's getting two. That's five shards in total. I got, I got 199 Adior. I just got 38 Onyx Bolt tips. Oh, my God. Oh my gosh. This is a great idea. All right, second kill. No chance that it's as good as the first one. Also, I'm pretty sure you got MVP again, even though I was in here first. No, okay, no you I, got it. I got Myth Bars. That's pretty good. I got Soul Runes. Not bad. All right. Is it going to die Come here, on. please? Oh. Fuck oh, we got it. We got okay, it. We got it. Okay. Got it. What? Wait. It hit zero HP. What the fuck? Okay. All right, so after this one, I probably won't show every kill unless we get something big. I got mithril bars again. I did too, quarter mil. Yeah, I got 372. What do we got here? All right, last kill. Come on, something. <clears throat> oh, steel bars. It's not bad. Did you get pure essence again? Yes. <laughs> okay, we're done. Wait, let's do. Let's do something else. Okay, so the loot from Zalcano, I made just over 1.2 mil, according to the loot tracker at least. And from the crystal shards we got, I made just shy of half a mil. So our total cash stack, how's it looking right now? Wow, very shy of 3 mil. We are at 4.3 million GP right now, and I think that's just enough to scrounge together some gear to do something quite interesting. This is something else, man. I just hit another zero with his fucking uh, AGS on me, nice. I'm hitting him back with my Ferex. He's losing so much health. He had to run. I'm like out of range, but I like almost want to fight him. <laughs> well, good try. I know, I know. I'm within teleport range. I, he was hitting me with entangles. He must have had TB. I don't know why he didn't use it. Whoops, I didn't have my recorder open because I'm like, eh, I'm not going to get anything. But we got a dragon two-hander sword at 269 kill count. Gotta love Callisto, man. That's 130k to the bank. Oh, look at that. Five Renar seeds, an easy 200,000 gold, and the Drunken Dwarf's here to give me some free food. Thanks, buddy. Well, I'm tired of getting attacked all the time. It was a good time at Callisto. We got quite a few kills, ending up at 287 kill count, and some pretty decent loot. Let's see what we got the last trip. 164k. Let's go sell this all. All right, and I sold back the Varric set and the D boots, and we're at 6.8 million gold. Pretty decent. I was kind of hoping to get lucky and spoon a little dragon pickaxe or maybe the ring from Callisto, but not too big of a deal. We do have an elite clue. I'm tempted to do it. I kind of don't want to because, I don't know, the rewards from these are always terrible, but you know what? Let's do it. Elite casket acquired. Was it worth all the effort? 340k. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, it was worth it. All right, so I used all the crystal shards, made them into divine super combat potions, which is actually a, a pretty substantial boost to the amount of money that i made so i think for now i'm gonna sell off the dragon pick and we're gonna get maybe a budget demonic setup and head over there try to get a zenite shard all right so this is my setup for demonics pretty basic nothing too crazy uh <laughs> figured i might as well slap on a warrior ring too because they're like 40k but the blowpipe is going to be pretty nice and hopefully we can grab ourselves a zenite I think Shelby decided he wanted to do wildy content, so it'd be pretty cool if he gets a dragon pick or something. Oh, I got a dragon scimitar. Ooh, 60k. That, is that rare? It's, it's not rare. It's like 1 in 64, I think. Okay, okay. I thought it was like the same rarity as Zenite based on the way I remember people reacting. Get Monkey Man is 2 done, and what the heck? 2 spirit seeds. Is oh, that, that's rare. Is that that's good, really though? Because, like, I could turn them in for the... Yeah, turn them in for farming contracts. They're, like, an 100k each on average. That's good. Okay, that's not bad. All right, first trip, nothing too crazy. Let's see how much money we made, though, because we do get a lot of alkables and whatnot here. The The average loot is pretty good. I have to bring alks next time. Totally forgot to do that. This is actually a bit better than I expected. 450k? Dang. All right, and that's... I can also turn in these two spirit seeds. I think uh, Shelby mentioned it earlier at the farming guild to get high tiered seed packs. So maybe I get some good stuff out of that. Got a Torstal seed and a dragon. Oh, so we probably got pretty lucky because we got a dragon fruit tree seed in there too, but hey, I'll take it. Well, I just picked myself up a new collection log item, some ballista limbs. Not quite what we're after here. Also not sure why it's not showing in the chat. Maybe I don't have that turned on, but uh, 
I mean, I've killed 3,000 of these. I've definitely had them before, but I guess not since the collection log came out. All right, well, first we got the limbs, and now on the same trip we are getting the spring. Feels like I'm going to build an entire ballista before I'm actually able to uh, get a zenite. Uh, unfortunately, these are both actually more rare than a zenite shard, which kind of sucks, but I mean, eh. You know, I guess we deal. Oh my god, you are freaking kidding me. Well, okay, so that's a heavy frame. I was joking when I said we're gonna end up finishing a whole ballista, but at this point, it's starting to look like, uh, it's starting to look like I might. Probably my best trip so far. Uh, 579k is, is pretty darn good. I'm getting a little bored here though, admittedly, but I think I'll stay at least a little bit longer. I really want to try and get at least one big drop here. I just realized that I've been making a good amount of money doing this, so I'm going to go ahead and sink some money into using a Berserker Ring since that's a pretty big upgrade over what I'm using right now. Oh, there's a clue scroll. Maybe I'll end up doing that. Alright, relatively painless clue. What do we got? Not bad. 189k. Two uniques in there as well. Alright. Starting to air a bit on the unlucky side. My blowpipe is almost out of darts and scale, so I think I have to actually go spend some money, buy some more of that, and I really want to stay at Demonics until I get a shard, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen at this point, just because I want to keep the variety going, but I guess we'll see. Alright, that's, uh, that's another Ballista Spring, and I, th I think that might just be my remaining motivation for Demonics out the window. Well, I'll finish this trip out and see how I'm feeling then, but man, that is unfortunate. Got Spirit Seeds again. <laughs> this has been a wild ride at Demonix. What is that? I mean, don't get me wrong, that's a great drop, but two Dragon Fruit Tree Seeds? Okay. I didn't want to make this like a 30 minute video, so if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like, and I'll see you in part two, which should be uploaded in just a couple of days.